This effect is called multiplying money. I'm glad you could join me today, and here goes the performance. So you have a dime. All you do is wave your hand over the dime, and it splits into two quarters. And those can be handed out for examination. On with the explanation. Uh, for multiplying money, what you need are two quarters and a dime. And how you're going to do this is you're going to hold the dime in such a way that it actually blocks the quarters from the spectator's view. So the quarters you're going to hold like this in between your middle finger and your thumb and the dime gets held perpendicular to those quarters like this. So you're holding the dime perpendicular, the quarters are held behind the dime, and if you aim it with your thumb pointing right between the spectator's eyeballs, all they'll see is the face of the dime and it'll hide the quarters. Now you have to be very careful you don't flash this way or this way, but you gotta hold it so that the dime is actually perpendicular to their line of sight. So you hold the dime, you say all I do is wave my hand, and as you, you can show your hand empty, as you wave your hand, what happens is you push the dime behind the quarters and then bring them out into view, like this. So again, it's very easy to do. It might take a little bit of practice in the mirror, but the dime is held at the very tips of the middle finger and thumb, the quarters are held perpendicular to the dime, in between the middle finger and thumb, just like this. And you're going to hold that right there for them to see just the dime, don't flash. And the exposed view, the thumb comes behind the fingers, the thumb comes and pushes the dime behind the quarters, and then you spread the quarters and take one quarter in each hand to show them the quarters this way. The dime is just hidden behind one of those quarters. If you want to hand these out for exp uh, to examine, as you set them both down, you just hold the dime back uh, in your fingertips here. You just hold it back and drop the quarters on the table or into their hand. So that's multiplying money. It's a very fun effect to do. It might take a little bit of practice, um, but just uh, look at it in the mirror until you get it down and that'll blow people away. Again, it's done with just pocket change, so you don't need anything expensive or crazy. Just two quarters and a dime or you can even use a nickel instead of a dime. Uh, but I definitely recommend using the two quarters to change into because uh, they're a little bit bigger, so they'll hide the coin behind, and um, that's it. That's the effect. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it some practice, and I look forward to seeing you in our next class. Take care.